Well, let's stay on President Trump and bring in uh, Brent Mozell, uh, Bozell rather, from the Media Research Center. You know, we've seen a, a string of high-profile corrections, retractions, all from the mainstream media, uh, Brent. Uh, I mean, obviously, this has got to be good for President Trump and his, and his assertion that this is the fake news is run amok. Yeah, Charles, good morning. Um, this, this is the press that is out of control. This is the press that has declared war on Donald Trump. This is the press that has just let go of journalistic standards so that anything they can find to go after Trump, they're going to use. For example, the Russia story. The, the Russia, uh, Donald Trump has said there is not definitive in, uh, evidence that Russia tampered with it. Well, AP and, and the New York Times found someone to say, wait a minute, all 17 government agencies, every single one says that there is. Turns out there were only four. They, uh, CNN comes out with a story after Donald Trump says, I'm not, my, my uh, campaign was not involved. CNN finds someone to say, oh yeah, but one of your people met with a Russian state bank. They have to retract it. Turns out it's not false. This is going on over and over again. I want to address what you all were talking about a minute ago. See, I don't think it's about this person. I think it's about Donald Trump again. This is CNN that's been so <laughs> embarrassed. It has overreacted so badly to that silly SmackDown video, which I wish the president had done. But they've overreacted so much by, by, by suggesting that it's fostering violence against the media that they're trying to find the upper hand on this. This is what they're doing. They're trying to get a hold of it and take the upper hand in this discussion. But once again, they're looking like idiots, like absolute idiots. Brent, I got another one uh, for you. 68% uh, of Americans say they do, do not trust the media. Uh, is, is, what's your reaction other than maybe that it's a low number? <laughs> I hate to say it. <laughs> yeah. You know, a couple of observations. Number one, that was taken by NPR. What in the hell is NPR doing using taxpayer money to take polls? It's like there are no polls available. We have one every five minutes. Point number two, the 68% anti-media thing. Donald Trump sees that. Donald Trump's numbers are at 61%. I'll tell you, Donald Trump may like the fact that the media are even more unpopular than he is. But I've got to tell you, I think the Democrats are looking at that poll, and they're very happy with it because they could care less ultimately about the media. They care about Donald Trump, and damage is being done, even though the media are doing more damage to themselves in the process. So you think it's a, a pyrrhic victory no matter what, uh, as long as these salvos keep going back and forth? Yeah, and, you know, I think the president has got to get back on his agenda. I think the president is going for tactical victories, and he's scoring one after another, no question about it, against the press. But ultimately, he's got to look big picture, and ultimately, he's got to look beyond them. I wouldn't be picking fights with them. They're committing suicide all by themselves. Look at CNN. They're yeah. doing it all by themselves. So if I were the president, I wouldn't do any more of these silly SmackDown videos. Get back on your agenda. Or, or maybe when they pick a fight with him, just kind of look the other way every now and then. But I'm not sure. President Trump is look a Look presidential, he, Charles. Well, he, he's, he's a classic Charles, New he's Yorker. Got the Sometimes you mm. counterpunch yeah, first and ask questions later. he's got the opportunity. <laughs> he's got the opportunity now to rise above it and look presidential and really make them look bad. All right. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. It's great seeing you.